For these vegan enriched cinnamon rolls, we're going to start by putting everything in the mixer. Um, we've got four and a half cups of flour, or 539 grams of flour. We have an egg replacer, which this is the one that I'm using. I'm sure there are others out there. Um, I've used this many times, and it works extremely well. So we're going to we're going to put this in just like it's two eggs. So it's one tablespoon of the egg replacer with two tablespoons of water per egg. And with the egg replacer, you do have to um, put the water in and let it sit just a bit until it gets mixed up because it's very lumpy when you first put it in. All right, the next thing we have is five tablespoons of vegan butter. It's very softened and it, it will go in and mix very well with the dough. Okay. We have a half a cup of sugar. I think that's 99 grams. And we have one cup of um, almond milk. You can use oat milk, you can use soy milk, you can use no milk, which is also some a brand. Um, I just happen to use, have almond milk on hand. This is lukewarm. I heated it on the stove because I can keep sticking my finger in and testing the temperature or a thermometer, which is probably the more proper way. But you want this temperature to be so if you stick your finger in it, basically you don't feel it. It's the same temperature as your body. You can go up probably to 100 degrees, but that would be as far as I would go with that. You pour that in. And then we have a teaspoon and three quarters of salt. And we have a tablespoon of yeast. So we're gonna put that all in, and we're going to start mixing this. This is a very easy dough. It's a recipe that is not normally vegan, and I've just turned it into a vegan recipe, and it's so surprising how many of these recipes you can just flip the ingredients a little bit and turn make it vegan. So we're gonna put this on a very low speed to get this mixed up. And as this goes along, I keep, so we're on, we're on a one, we started on a one, I'm now on two, and then I'm going to get this up to about a medium, which is on my machine, it's somewhere between four and five. And once this is mixed up, I'm going to continue to turn this up, and as it mi mixes together and becomes um, kind of smooth, I'm gonna keep turning up the, the speed and it will end up at the highest, which on my machine is a 10, but whatever your highest is, and that will knead the dough. There will be no hand kneading with this. So we'll leave this going for about 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, this is lovely. This is just a beautiful dough. It's made with, um, no dairy products whatsoever, and it's just acting just like an enriched dough, so I'm really happy with it. I don't need any flour. I just need, I'm gonna put a towel over this while I go get a bowl and grease the bowl. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna grease one side and turn it over, and we're gonna Put the towel over this and let it rise for an hour and a half or two hours. And if you have any recipe requests or any questions that you have in the kitchen, put them in the comments below. I'm happy to answer them and I'm happy to try any recipe that you are interested in making. Okay, so the dough has risen and we are going to just turn this over and I want, I'm gonna use my scale. I want these to be about 100 grams. And I would say that this is about a half a cup. Let's give it a shot and see what it is. Yep, that's just about a half a cup of dough that you're looking for. So I'm gonna make a couple of these. Let's Perfect. Okay. This recipe, I am not rolling these out with a rolling pin. I am 
going to roll these out until this piece of dough is about a, um, 16 to 18 inches long. The dough is pretty user friendly. I'm not using any flour. It's not sticking. It's a. It's actually a perfect dough. So, and so that's probably 18 inches right there. I'm just gonna. It does shrink when you put it in the butter. So this is vegan butter. I'm going to dip this into the vegan butter. Let it drip just a little bit. Stretch it as I pull it over here. And then I'm going to just completely cover this with cinnamon and sugar. And what we're doing is we're basically making a double row of rolled dough. You just want to stretch it as much as you can without breaking it. And then I'm just going to lay it in here and start rolling this up as tightly as I can. And now you're going to have two layers of rolls. When I get to this point, I take one of these and I poke it right in there. And I take the other side and poke it in there. And that way it, will, it won't fall apart. Um, and then what I do is I actually just kind of spread that out a little bit. Make sure that's in there. And I put it on my cookie sheet. I use parchment paper. If you don't have parchment paper, you can um, use just some grease of some sort. And then we do this, don't worry about the cinnamon getting all over the dough. Don't worry if it gets in the butter. The, the more you go along, the messier your hands get, but that's okay. So I finished rolling the cinnamon rolls and they're ready to go into the oven. Um, you have two choices. You can put them in the oven right now. They spread out and they cook perfectly this way at 375 or if you want, and if you want a softer bun, cinnamon roll, you can let them rise for about an hour and they'll loosen up a little bit and spread out a little more. I happen to enjoy them when they're a little bit tighter knit, but either way, they're, they're absolutely delicious. I am going to put them in now so you can see what they look like. So I'm gonna put these in the oven and I'm gonna put them in for about 20 minutes and then we will be back. Okay, so I'm going to take these out and check the temp. And I can tell by looking at these that they're not quite ready. I am gonna temp them just to make sure. Nope, they should be about 190. If you push this down, it should bounce right back. That's another way to tell. And if you look in here, this looks wet and it's not just the butter, it's the, I can tell by, if you pulled on that, it's totally not done. So we're gonna put these in for about another three or four minutes. Okay, so this looks much better now. Whoops, where'd my thermometer go? There we go. Oh, that looks much better too. Okay, these are now done. I'm going to take these off sooner and put them on a tray rather than let them sit there. And there we go. So these are, I'm gonna let them rest just a little bit and then we're going to put some icing on them. These are delicious without the icing. They are very crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're incredibly delicious just like this. And I'm going to make some icing to put on these. I've got about two cups of, of confectionery sugar. This is a by taste, by how thick you want it. And it's just a very easy thing to do. If you make it too wet, you can just put more confectionery sugar in. But as a general rule, I'm gonna put about a, a teaspoon of vinegar vanilla in and this is coconut milk you can use any vegan milk that you want you can use oat milk or anything I've used the coconut milk before and it's quite tasty so I'm gonna start off with this um, it's a little bit thinner than cream so I'm gonna start off with about three tablespoons and see how we do there it's easier to add more than it is to add more sugar 
Okay, so that is a perfectly good consistency. It's very spreadable. It's very, you can drip this on. You can make it a little looser if you want them a little gooier, or, you know, but this will melt on those warm cinnamon rolls. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. So that's that was a perfect amount for that sugar. Okay, so now we're going to take, these are still warm. I made these before. The ones that we just made are cooling. They're a little too hot. These have been cooling for 10 minutes or so. They're very good without the, the icing. I actually prefer to serve these plain without the icing on them with a little small dish of icing that you can dip. It's really good. But if you want that traditional gooey ooey um, icing drizzled, it's very easy. You can, you can do this in a much more professional manner if you want to, but I just drizzle the icing on and let them sit. And this is, once again, by choice, how much you want to put on. And I'll do a couple of these. 